Here's a weird one. This is, um, this is my old elementary school. I guess some people call them primary schools now, but you know, kindergarten through grade, uh, grade seven. Anyway, I moved here in 1979. Yes, I'm old. Um, and I started school here in grade three. There, I don't remember a, part, a little park thing here. It seems like it's not the same as it used to be, but it's still the same. Yeah, this area right here, I remember. I remember there's a bunch of girls that used to uh, skip rope. And uh, I don't know what grade that was. Jeez, what grade would that have been? Grade four, maybe? Maybe grade four. Anyway, they used to skip rope here, and I just skipped rope with them for a little bit. I tried, because they were girls. Some of the guys made fun of me, so I stopped doing that. It wasn't very strong of me. And this here, these swing sets, they've, they've been here. The uh, bark mulchy stuff is new, but the uh, swing sets were there. Totally remember that. And this, <laughs> this spot right here was actually my grade four classroom. I remember that, grade four, five. Like it was a split class, I was in grade four. This is kind of cool. Oh my God, so this covered area here, the covered area, I don't remember what, grade it was I think it was grade five I think it was grade five we were out here for PE or gym class and we had to run around the school I remember this I remember this so well this is one of those moments and we were running along like this through this little gap there's a group of us and someone had ran ahead and stood over here and was gonna scare one of his friends I'm not gonna use anyone's names but I remember the names he's gonna scare their friends ah or trip them or do whatever. And this one girl who was in front of me, yes, I kind of had a crush on her. She had awesome eyes. She was running and he came out and tripped her and she fell right here. Arms back, face first. It was horrible. I think she recovered fully. I think, think she was okay in the end, but uh, she got banged up pretty good. That was right there in that spot. That's totally what I remember. So, so weird. <laughs> there used to be tetherball here. You know, the poles with a ball on there. And I remember being a kid. What grade would that have been now? Shoot. I honestly don't remember. Grade. I think it was probably grade four. And playing tetherball. It might have been grade three. And one of the kids that was in grade seven. So you got to think grade three, grade seven, essentially, right? There's a big height difference. And uh, he hit the tetherball and smoked me right in the face. Knocked me flat. I think he knocked me out. Yeah, I came to. I'm normal. It's all good. This is my old elementary school. That's kind of a trip. I don't know why it's a big deal today because, you know, I live 10 minutes away from here. But man, that girl falling, I, I remember that. That's amazing. I mean, it's, it's not amazing that I remember it. It's just the memory is very vivid. Yep. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. Neat. That used to be a big gravel field, a gravel soccer field. This used to have way more trees in it, but then they, they cut them down and stuff like that because it wasn't safe. There's like perverts hanging out there or something, but we used to be hide and seeking here. It's pretty muddy right now. It's kind of dried out, but I do remember we used to come out here at recess and run around and play hide and seek and go back to class and have the squishy socks and shoes. Right? 
oh, <laughs> spend the rest of the day soaking wet. Maybe a big mud stain down your knee. That's, uh, that's funny. But yeah, this old gravel field. Well, it used to be gravel, soccer. They called them all weather fields. That's been, kids were tough. You imagine, well, because it rains so much here, right? So there'd be, kids would be playing soccer in the wintertime. And you could play on the all weather field and not get rained out. Here's a place that's not my proudest moment, okay? I, I don't, I don't remember the grade. I was probably in grade, I was probably in grade six. My next door neighbor was probably in grade four. I think that was a split. Next door neighbor, good friend. Not gonna drop his name either, um, but he was, a, he was a good friend, he was a nice guy. And right here, this is the way we'd walk home. One day, he was in a fight with another friend. Well, not another friend, just another, another kid his age. And there's a bunch of people standing around here and they were, you know, yelling, fight, fight, fight. And he took a bit of a beating. And I, I stood, I stood, I probably stood right here. And he was getting, getting hammered on. And, um, you know, we were kids, we just let them fight. And I probably, because I was older, I was taller. There's other older kids here, like bigger kids. I probably could have got in and just broke them up and said, like, let's go home. But instead, I waited till the fight was over. And uh, I don't know what they would have been fighting over. Isn't that crazy? Like, grade four or five? What, what, what's there to fight? Anyway, scooped them up. He cleaned the mud off, and we walked home. But I think about that moment, and I think, man, I could have stepped in there. Because the other kid that was fighting, I was I was totally bigger than him. Like I was, you know, I was older. He probably would have kicked my butt too. I remember his name as well. But he was a scrapper. But uh, I could have stepped in. I didn't. I feel bad about that. It's uh, kind of weird. What kind of memories do you have if you think of you if you think of school? Elementary school. Oh man, if I go on the high school kick here, we're, I'll have I'll be I'll be balling. But uh, yeah, good memories, bad memories. There's a lot of good memories there. Man. Anyway, that's my story for today. If you have a memory, don't be afraid to share it. And if you don't want to share it, that's cool. As long as you think about it. The size of these houses. Wow. I live in a funky neighborhood. Can't afford none of that. Very cool. Okay. Out of here. We'll see you tomorrow.